Mina, come on, why? Jesus freaking gamer here. So I have been like gone for the last few days as far as the preaching videos. I've done done the video game videos. Those are up to date and current preaching videos. I've been slacking. Jeez, there is some stuff going on in my personal life right now. Nothing. I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Just busy, 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 busy. So God was like, they're just. Wow, I, yeah, I listed like 15 things earlier that are on my to-do list. So it's kind of nuts right now. Please, for that's still no excuse. I can, you know, I'm still spending time with God. I can take some of that and give it to y'all. No excuses for me, Brandon, or you, Brandon. I'm talking to me. That This is getting weird. Okay, Psalm 96. We're moving on from Psalm 95, and we're also moving on in this video. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I want you to kind of think outside the normal box for just a minute. I'm just going to go with verse 1. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. There's something really cool, like when a band you enjoy puts out their newest single, their newest EP, or their newest entire album. There's just something really special about that. There's something really cool. It's refreshing. It's new. It's nice. You haven't memorized the songs yet. You haven't heard them a hundred times yet. And you probably want to hear them a hundred times. It, well, at least, if you know, the songs that you like anyway. You know how that goes. And you want, you want to make that a part of you because, you know, it, it reaches you in some way. It touches you in some way. And I would, the challenge that I have is, you know what? God also likes new songs. It doesn't say that explicitly in the verse. I know that the Lord, there are so, there are so many exhortations for us to worship him, to praise him, to sing to him, to play instruments unto him. God is a big fan of music. I mean, he did invent it after all, and he's a fan of it. And I believe that even if you're not, you don't have like the voice of an angel, or even if you don't have any instruments you can play, Maybe you're not some, you know, wordsmith that just words really good and English is really well. You know, you just don't have my gift. I'm very, very sorry. It's okay. You're still loved and you're still valuable and you still have your own gifts. And I need to, need to find a gift of my own that's actually legitimate. And I believe that if you take the time to just worship God, to sing to Him a new song, sing to Him a new song, something that's just right from your heart. You can write it down, maybe you just sing it in the moment, but sing to God a new song. Something like, God, you are good. God, I love you so much. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for me. You know, it doesn't have to be great or well-written. It can be improv, it can be on the spot. And I don't care if what I just did was embarrassing. That's not important. I do mean the things I just said. And I wanted to like give an example of the things that I was talking about. It's okay if you don't have some great voice. It's okay if you can't put words together really well. If you're worshiping God and you mean it, that's precious to Him. Okay? You're His child. You're His kid. He likes it when you are just lovingly admiring him, spending time with him, you know, telling him how much you love him. What pair doesn't love to hear the kids say that they love him? A lot of the times they hear quite the opposite of that. And I'm, I'm certainly guilty. I, I told uh, my mom plenty of times uh, about, about my complaints or someone going wrong or something she was doing wrong or wasn't thinking right and just on and on and on. It's great when... You know, all the all the petitions are done. The interceding battle is over. Um, you know, you you've issued forth your complaints. Uh, maybe you're a little bit tired, but then you just take time to say, you know what, Daddy, I love you. Thank you. You're awesome. I love you. Thank you. You're awesome. Something like that. Something to that effect. Just worship God. Make it new. Make it your own. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be good. Doesn't have to be publishable. If it's just between you and God, your daddy will appreciate it. You know how parents put those weird little squiggles we drew as, we're, as kids on the refrigerator? And some parents, they weren't good parents and didn't take those things down. At some point, you take those things down, doggone it. But God loves to take our simple little things, and he's the God of the universe. We can't impress him, all right? He loves to take just our simple acts of affection and love and put them on whatever refrigerator it is he has in heaven. That's a metaphor in case you didn't pick up on that. And just 
And he just loves to love on us and loves to say, look at that. That guy over there, he's going through a rough time. He's not perfect, but he's my son or she's my daughter and they love me. Check this out. I just get the idea of God showing that stuff off to like, you know, the angels in heaven who Second Peter talks about they want to peer into the faith that we have and showing it off to the saints who have passed on. Even though I personally believe, this is debatable, I personally believe that they have some insight into what's going on down here, their former home. I, just, I can just see God like saying, you know what, look at this. Look at this thing that my son, my daughter did. Isn't this cool? They're not perfect. They're, they're, they're these tiny little things, and they're in a dark, sin-filled world. They're, their very being is sinful. But you know what? They still love me, and look what they tried to do for me. This is beautiful. And what you try to do for God, and when you mean it, is beautiful. No matter who you are, and no matter how much you or others want to criticize it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Take, take me up on that challenge. It'd be really cool if like someone actually posted a video or like wrote a little something in the comments section. You don't have to. You don't have to. I'm just kind of like, that'd be kind of cool if a few people did take up this challenge. I think that'd be really, really neat. And of course, you don't have to put it in the comments section or post a video. I'm not the one that's important here. God is. So thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.